Uh, my name is Dr. Moses Koridiare, the president of Calvary Drama Ministries International. I want to specially welcome you to this beautiful YouTube channel where you have the opportunity of watching our movies. I'm talking about the whole movies and the very latest ones. <laughs> You're not only going to watch our normal conventional movies, you have other drama skits. Drama skits that will elevate your soul and that will bless your life. Outside that, we have seminars. Seminars on Bible, seminars on medical talks, different seminars that will be uploaded. Please, we want you to do three things before you leave. One, you will see subscribe icon written in red. Tap on that. Close to it is a bell that uh, once you tap, it will alert you of any new thing coming to this channel. Outside that, we want you to like it, to share it, to comment on it. You can also download it. This is the station below. Hello over there. God bless you in Jesus' name. We want to show you a film that we trust God to use in causing a serious revival in the body of Christ. The way the Church of God is presently is a very sorry state. And every child of God that is heaven bound should be very concerned about the state of the church. Without missing words, I want to submit to you that the enemy has taken over many churches. The synagogue of Jesus Christ has turned to the synagogue of the devil. That is the truth. That is the truth. Worldliness and worldly amusement have taken the place of holiness. The emphasis these days in the church of God is on material blessings not on spiritual blessing. <laughs> hmm. The Church of God needs urgent surgical spiritual operation. By the time the body of anything is going bad, check that thing, the head is completely rotten. Strike the shepherd and the sheep will scatter. The shepherd have allowed himself to be stricken by the devil. What a solid state. You are welcome to this film titled Pastors with Rascals. Church of God, what are we turning to? Church of God, we need to repent. Church of God, we need to go back to our first love. Church of God, what are we turning to? Church of We need to go back to our first love. God has answered your prayers. The Holy Spirit asked me to tell you that you will start your ministry in your village. Your village of faith is your first point of duty. my first point of duty.
Mami, why do you have to carry my Bible and other study materials? I will know what? You are a shame. You are an embarrassment and very radical disappointment. As the only male child of my noble self, I can wear Surioso at Tanibi Atawewe. You made a caricature and total nonsense of my instructions. I told you, I told you, never to go to the seminary to learn about your so called Christ, Savior, Jesus. But you shut your ears against my instructions. It is now my payback time. I have decided to take your Bible and other materials, which I believe are your source of power. You will definitely become powerless without them. Yes, or you tear. Bami, you are mistaken. Bible is just a container of God's mind. If you take away my Bible and other study materials, you can't take away the grace, the power, and the anointing God gave me in our salvation. Ah. I will know what? You are indeed a fool. Let me sound a note of warning here. I give you seven days ultimatum to renounce, reject, and totally forsake that Jesus. Otherwise, you will die in seven days. If you don't renounce that, get it, Jesus. I swear by Abatala Batalisha. I swear by Sago, the God of Thunder. I swear by Oko, the God of Fire. On Malasa, a get yaga. See ya. To follow Jesus, no turning back, no turning back. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back, no turning back. I am beside her. Today is the end of your life. Please don't kill me. Please. The only reason that will make us not to kill you is if you reject Jesus at this instance. Listen, Kambiensi, your dad and the entire council of elders in this town demanded that we should kill you and dispose your corpse at evil forest. No. Will you reject Jesus or we kill you right away? Look at We don't have any time to waste. Give us a response immediately. Give us a response before the count of ten or hence we will heavily descend on you. Reject Jesus before the count of ten. One, two, I am sure he won't be that stubborn. He will reject his Jesus. Obviously, <laughs> no man will want to die. <laughs> he will renounce his Jesus. Uh, he's my son, but he's too stubborn. Mm. Seven, eight, nine. <laughs> it's 
Hold it. I'm ready. I'm ready. <laughs> Good of you. Since you are now ready to renounce Jesus, let's go back to the palace. Uh, wait. I didn't say that. I said I'm ready to die for Jesus. I'm ready to give all to Jesus. <laughs> please, give your life to Jesus. Give your life to Jesus, please. Boys! Cut him into pieces! Please, Bishop. You have to mobilize my people to give. They are stingy people. I want to complete my third place by the end of this month. I need at least 10 million naira to bring it to my taste. You know, how much do you want me to raise for you in the meeting? Five million naira. Seven million naira. Seven million naira. And how much is my cut? I've already told you, two million naira. Two million naira. Hmm. I can see that your church is a good business center. Um, I have a better idea that can be of help to both of us. Say, sir, I will do it immediately. I don't need a cobble out of the seven million naira, it's all yours. But any amount I raise above seven million naira is mine. Are you comfortable with that? No. Can you make it eight million naira? No, no, no. Ten million naira we do. Are you okay with that? Very, very okay. It's all right. Um, there is one thing you need to do for me. Say it, I will do it immediately. I will need the names of 15 very rich people in your church. I mean, stinkingly rich people. That is not a problem. I will also need seven names that are not well to do. They hardly find something to eat. And um, I would prefer them to be jobless. What exactly do you need them for? Are you going to offer them jobs? <laughs> Just get me the names. And let them meet me at my hotel suite. Kabiesi, he refused to renounce his faith. We killed him about an hour ago and deposited his corpse at the evil forest as you instructed us. This boy, this boy, he eventually killed himself. Why? 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 Yellow day. Why? Yellow day. Don't cry for him. Don't cry for him. He deserves what he got. He's my son. He was too stubborn. He deserved what he got. What God told you about me? It's a fact, sir. I'm jobless. Would you like to be greatly used of God and go home with 10,000 Naira today? I'm ready, sir. So, um, in the meeting this evening, I will announce that there is someone here that has been confirmed HIV positive by the doctor. And that person is you. No, no sir. No, no, have, no doctor ever told me that. Uh, can I not be HIV positive in 
Jesus name. Amen. But you are doing it for God. Lying for God? No. Oh, why is for God you want to say? Come on. By doing that, the faith of the people will rise and they will pray fervently until they receive their miracles. Don't forget, your fare is 10,000 naira. Or you want me to call another person you know, to take the 10,000 naira instead of you? Uh, no, Bishop, don't do that, Daddy. I will even do it more than your expectation. That's all right. Okay. Oh. Baba, you came to see me in, uh, in this evil forest. Where well, my life is as good as gone. Uh, but why didn't you come when I needed you most? Your life is not as good as gone, my son. Your life is still valuable to us that gave you this assignment. We deliberately allowed you to pass through your present predicament for a purpose. Your life is preserved in the hollow of our hands. Jesus cannot do. The blood of Jesus has done it. My son, your ministry in Orphan is over. My ministry in Orphan is over? I love my people. Their salvation is of utmost importance to me. I want God to help me to take offering over for Jesus. Offering is for Jesus. We have made an alternative arrangement for their salvation, which will gladden your heart. We have an important assignment for you. You will go to the city of Igbalode, where most of their churches have been taken over by the devil. Rascals are now their pastors. Wayward boys and girls now sing in their choir. Their girls are daughters of Jezebel. In fact, their leaders are like Balaam, the son of Bezor, who loved the wages of unrighteousness. This man is a typical example of rascals that go by the name Pastor. Your ministration was great, very powerful and electrifying. When you told me you need seven people, I never knew your intention. They did it so What a gimmick. <laughs> Gimmick, you call it? <laughs> it is not a gimmick, but the wisdom of God. <laughs> I never knew that my church could turn in such a huge amount of money. <laughs> the cash and the check were 22 million 850 thousand naira. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. How do we share it? Share? Did I hear you say share it? Come on. The sharing formula is a foregone, uh, uh, foregone conclusion. You said you agreed on 10 million naira. Then the remaining 12 million 850,000 naira is mine. Why should it this wicked? I own this church. I invited you. And why do you want to arm under me that own the church? And I brought the business idea. And you agreed to my terms and negotiations. Do you think I don't know how much came in? Ah. You want to back out now? You are selfish. I'm, I'm stupid. I'm very stupid to accept the offer. I'm an idiot. Rottenness, shame, debris on the altar of God. Only few of our servants 
are now carrying out the assignment. Worldliness, corruption, and mammon have stolen away righteousness in the church. There is bribery in the church. There is witchcraft in the church. Just imagine what this rascal is doing. The problem I have with you people is that you have not found the dividing line between a pastor and a prophet. I am a prophet and not a pastor. Your 14 years barrenness will vanish today if you carry out my prophetic declaration. Prophetic declaration? Man of God, please help me. I want to be a, a mother. I want to carry my own baby. I'm ready to carry out your declaration. Your problem will be over if you use this specially prepared anointing oil. Thank you, man of God. How will I use it? You have two cobwebs in your womb. They are planted there by your stepmother. And until this anointing oil enters into your womb and destroys the cobwebs, you will be barren forever. Ah! Jesus Christ! I reject it! Ah! Ah! What an unfortunate situation! How can this oil get to my womb? Simple! I will rub this anointing oil on my manhood and help you to push it into your womb. Unless that is done, you'll be barren forever. That is sexual intercourse. Not at all. It is prayer intercourse. Anointing that breaks the yoke intercourse. Holy Ghost intercourse. I told you I'm a prophet and we carry out prophetic directions here. This will be repeated for five days. Are you ready or I call the next person? Number Rakapasantaya Remo Sende Kembo Tintarabaya. You are ready? Go to that room and wait for me there. What's up, I am to be tested. What you have done will be tested. Your works will be tested by fire. So do what the master should do. Jesus of Nazareth. Ah! Abomination. In the church of the living God. Hmm. This is the end time. The enemy is sending many to hell by bringing in strange doctrines and evil practices into the church of God. Hmm. This is the perilous time. Many men of God have been slain by the devil. Look at another rascality. That is going on right now in the church of God. Pastor Kola, you preach so well today. Thank you, Daddy. This boy is very arrogant. He can't even kneel down or bend down to talk to me. How much are we even paying you here? I have forgotten. 15,000 naira per month, sir. If I do not act fast, he might soon overthrow me. His popularity is growing in the church. I must act fast. Yes, I must act fast. Suppose I get a church for you in the village where you will be paid 22,000 Naira per month. If I pray and God leaks me in there, I will go, sir. That is okay, my brother. Pray about it. We will go now. Thank you, sir. That was a typical example of how many senior pastors, founders, general overseers are intimidating, oppressing many pastors under them. They treat their associate pastors like houseboys. They have become feudal lords over their associates. 
some for fear of what their associate pastors may become over them in the future, deliberately send them packing. They have forgotten that they were once a Mr. Nobody before God made them a Mr. Somebody. The God who made them a Mr. Somebody yesterday can decide to make them a Mr. Nobody today if they don't stop oppressing their associate pastors. Things are happening in the church of God. See what this regional pastor and parish pastor are doing. Uh, the most interesting part of it is Pastor Solomon is paying 250000 into my account every month. Yes. And um, I believe that very soon he's going to increase it. So I can't disappoint him. No, no, no. I can't transfer him from that place. Sir, what of Yanyan branch? Sir, please send Yanyan branch to me. Uh, you are the special assistant to the GO, in charge of transfer of pastors. And uh, you have the financing of this issue, sir. Please, sir, send Yanyan branch to me. And I promise that I will pay 100,000 Naira every month into your account. And I promise that uh, I will increase it as soon as I make much money in that branch, sir. Yanyan yeah, branch. That should um, be Pastor Drogia's church. The pastor. That pastor is stingy. Yes. He's just paying a nigga of um a nigga of um, 80,000 into my account every month. And all my efforts for him to make an upward review of that money failed. Everything fell into his death face. You know what? I have a better option for you. Yes. This is Abuja region. Uh, you mean better over here in Abuja? Yes. That is if you can pay the price. Please sir, post me there. And I promise. I won't disappoint you. Sir, I, I won't disappoint you. <laughs> if I'm not miscalculating, they have um, four senators worshiping with them. They have um, three ministers. Yes, three ministers of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. They worship at our Kujie branch here in Abuja. And uh, they have contractors, um, medical doctors, business moguls. Yes, in, inside our Kujie branch. Mm. And um, white people, they worship there. That's, I was told. Um, the new Canadian ambassador to Nigeria is also worshipping there. <laughs> so, that place is um, very lucrative. And um, see, yeah, I wish to sell that lucrative post for you. Yes. <laughs> anyway, for that lucrative post, um, if you can buy it with 2 million naira and a deposit of 500,000 naira to my account every day. Incredible. Sir, it is unthinkable that the church of God could turn to this. Rascals are now on the pulpit. Jobless idiots have taken over the work of God. Crusade grounds where sinners should come and break down in tears of repentance have turned to a ground for fun fear and fundraising. You can hardly go to the crusade ground of today where money will not be collected from sinners before they are giving their so-called miracle. Rascals hardly allow a Sunday to pass by without announcing one project or the other for the pastor, his family, or his empire, which is his personal church. You can hardly hear them raising money for missions and missionaries, the town trodden and the poor that exist in their church. Christian dressing and moderation is now an old-fashioned thing. People now dress to kill. The best place where you will find skimpy dresses and nudity, especially on Sundays, are in the Church of God. You also find a lot of crazy haircuts, palm hairs, jewelries of various sizes and shapes. And also, you find them with different kinds of makeup. The time has come for God to take over his church again. God is raising a new crop of ministers who will be genuinely committed to raising and preparing men 
for the rapture. The axe is laid at the tree, and God is ready to cut off any minister who refuses to fall in line with this end time move of God. Go to the city of Ibalode and raise up men for the kingdom of God. God, help my ministry. Things are going down instead of going up. People are rejecting me and my message. <sighs> we were 120 before now. But as of today, ah! <laughs> we are just 42! 42 children inclusive! Ah! Ah! People are running away because I centered my message on salvation, sanctification, only ghost baptism, huh? one man, one wife, restitution, and so on. Please, God, increase the number of my church members. Please, God, bring people! <laughs> I will lower my beloved servant. Don't be haste. Cool it down. Ministry is not about the members that come to your church, but about the members that come to me. Sooner than later, your church will grow. Only continue to be faithful. Continue to be faithful. Continue to be faithful. My daddy in heaven, you know how much I love you. But this church assignment is not encouraging. This is my fifth year in the ministry. Still with 42 members. I will lower. Be patient. Be patient. Remember, the patient dog eats the fattest bone. Let me tell you this. Every ministry or church that is from God must pass through seven steps in ministry. Seven steps in ministry? Yes. Step one, the waiting and preparatory step. The waiting and preparatory step. This step is very, very crucial and important in ministry. But most ministers have jettisoned this initial preparation, this initial step at their own peril. It is a time to wait on God in prayer, to confirm the call upon the minister. It is a time to hear God and also receive direction in ministry and how to fulfill such ministry. What is the next step, sir? Sit down. The next step is to seek for ministerial knowledge. Any minister that wants to excel at this end time must seek for ministerial knowledge. The Bible says, my people perish for lack of knowledge. Many church members are dying today because their pastors lack ministerial knowledge. One can seek knowledge in the seminary and uh, in other places where such knowledge are available, but not very compulsory. A minister of God without ministerial knowledge cannot have an edge over others and cannot be ahead of others in ministry. Number three is the training step. You must be discipled by a more mature minister. Some get their training 
as associate pastors, junior pastors. To go find ministry, you must have a father. Those who don't have fathers can't go further than where they are. Number four is the quality experience or the molding experience. Sir, what is step five? Hmm. Step five. This is called the valley experience. Yes. Here, the minister is in a valley, unknown and unsung. No one notices him and no one recognizes him. He is in a hiding, walking quietly for God, but progressively. You are now in stage five of ministerial steps, the valley experience. Continue to serve us in your little capacity, and you will soon climb the mountain top of ministry if you faint not. Continue to preach to people, preach in the marketplace, preach on the streets, preach from house to house, preach when it is convenient, preach when it is not convenient, preach in season, preach out of season, preach and continue to preach. And what is the sixth step, sir? <laughs> this is the mountain top experience. Here, the minister of God had endured all problems, all challenges of steps one to step five. And here is he has a very large congregation. He is known and uh, he is popular and everybody knows him. The seventh step, that is the soaring step. And at this stage, such ministers, they now do the work of God with ease. They have large and strong wings, big and sharp eyesight, and they soar with ease in ministry. He is great and known in nationally and internationally. He is a leader of leaders. It is unfortunate that a lot of ministers want to jump from step one to step seven in a jiffy. But they don't have big, sharp eyes and large, strong wings to soar like them. Such ministers eventually crash into the valley. Take your time. Ah. Mother, I've got this Canadian woman. <laughs> I got her. <laughs> ah. Yes, yes, yes. Man. Ash. Oh, mom. Yeah, why don't you so? Yeah, we are not dead there again. Man, yeah, we don't get a leg. Ah. These Oyibo people are now difficult to deceive on that. Man, it's proven, it's proven stubborn. From what time? You are very correct. But there are three methods of making cool money now. I see. From what time? We can start by kidnapping children of rich men. Huh? Yes. Huh? Then we need to buy guns. Secondly, Yahoo Extra is not so good. You have nine game friends. I have twelve. 
He can use one or two of our gay friends for rituals. Mm. Yes. And uh, if that one fails, eh, we can also use another method. Eh? Use another one. Uh -huh. Yes. Can I can you have us? I greet you in the name of Jesus. Man, what rubbish is this? Huh? Eh? Who invited you here? I don't mean This man must be crazy. My friend, get up, get up! Ah! What rubbish is that? Get up! You 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 must be mad. This country is so hard today and I'm sure you so-called religious people contribute a lion's share of its hardness. My friend, get out. We don't need your Jesus here. Your Jesus is for the Jews, not for we Africans. Will you put food on our tables? Will you give us money to carry babes? Will you give us good D, A, Go, O, to Pam, Pam, to Pim, Pim, to Yellow, Yellow, and look, go, go! <laughs> I don't make ball. I'm sure it's Jesus cannot, cannot, pam, pam, yellow, yellow, lugo, lugo. Pastor, tell me, does your Jesus know how to lugo, lugo? <laughs> Fuck give you! Give your life to Jesus. See, hell is real. Jesus is the only one that can give you joy everlasting in heaven. <laughs> Please give your life to Jesus. My brother, give your life to Jesus. What? What? Mother, I can't. Please excuse me for a moment. I shall excuse you. You are excused. Uh. <laughs> Pastor, please, you are welcome. Get it. <laughs> please, come and tell me what your Jesus can do for us. <laughs> please sit down. <laughs> Oh, bless you, my pastor, <laughs> sit down. Uh, please, I am interested now. Can you please tell me some of the things that your God can do for us? <laughs> God bless you, my brother. You, see, Jesus can give life. Jesus can heal. Jesus can do miracles. In fact, Jesus can give money. By God, next time you will not pump into somebody's house when you are not invited. My friend, my friend, get out. Ah, hot pepper. And don't report. That guy is fuck up. Nah, fuck up. <laughs> Come on, let's go back to our discussion on how to make money. Okay. <clears throat> you see, um, that stupid man we drove out um, reminds me of a better way of making money. Yeah, far, far better than the ways you highlighted a moment ago. Tell me your options. How do we help our financial crisis? Um, man, I'm receiving it. Oh, we Yeah. Yeah, I don't make war. Suppose we become preachers.
Hello? You are Pastor Awolowo Awoduba, I guess. Yes, uh, that used to be my name. But I'm no longer Awolowo. I'm now Christy Lowo. Oh, lovely. Christy Lowo. I don't know whether you can still remember me. Yes. Yeah. Eh, uh, you are on Kutubosu. We were classmates at the seminary. Oh. <laughs> Tubosu in those days. <laughs> right? But now, I am doctor. Apostle Bishop Tubosu Jakaye and the set man of Swallow the Spirit PowerPoint, Lagos. Mm. Papa. Swallow the Spirit PowerPoint? Yes, my brother. Uh, why are you looking so dirty, roaming about the streets with your shirt in your hands? I mean, why this thing? Why are you not in your car? Sir, things are not easy. Well, boys, yeah. take him to one of the cars. Jump into the car, we will talk later. Huh? We are living in the world that is full of sin and that's creeping into the church of God. I don't trust standing on the poopy. Fornicators preaching the word of God. More beautiful house in Abuja, another at Korakot. You see, um, I'm a living witness to the fact that God is good. God is good. I mean, by the way, what service? I mean, your congregation. Well, we are 42 presently, but we are trusting God to enlighten our course soon. My God! That is far below the number that constitutes my choir. My choir alone is 122 people. We are presently 15,733 people, excluding the children. I am talking of the headquarter church. The other branches in Nigeria and at abroad are growing very, very fast. It is a taboo. It is an abomination for a pastor to start a church and the congregation not to hit at least 10,000 members in two years. Pastor Tubasu, point of correction. I am not Pastor Tubasu. I am Doctor, Apostle, Bishop, Tubos, and by the grace of God, I shall be ordained an Archbishop next year, September. Hold on. Mama, Mama, God bless you. God bless you real good. Rokakakakayakabalata. Oh. Oh, you mean your flight shall be landing by 8.30 p.m. tomorrow? Oh, I will order the boys to come and pick you up. Johnny Mercy. 
Ok. Johnny Messi. Ronka ka kabala. Rika koko ko. Roko koko. God bless you, man. Yeah. Andra, take your drink. Come on. Thank you, sir. What is the secret of your church place? Wise of you. Wise of you. Hold on, boss. Ah! <laughs> Your Excellency! Your Excellency! God bless you, real good. God bless you. Oh, you want me to pray for you? Come on, let's pray. You are blessed. You are blessed. No evil shall befall you. I decree into your life breakthrough, powerful anointing into your life. It shall be well with you. Roka ko labo latara kababa. Yes, it is well with you. We are swallow the spirits. Swallow the spirits. Now, swallow the spirits. Yeah, it is well with you. Thank you. Okay, Lira. Yeah. You mean you want to know the secrets of our church girls? Simple. Self packaging. Hard work. Mellow down on fearful messages. Sanctification, holiness, hellfire, you know, be silent on how your members dress. Preach love, preach breath, push, preach prosperity, then signs and wonders. You know, then motivate your members to give. Read. Study, imitate mighty men that have made it. Before you know it, people will drop into your church in their thousands. Oh, thank you, sir. I think uh, I must go now. Please, don't go yet. Don't go yet. I have to sow into your ministry. I want to sow the sum of five million naira to. to Compliment your new efforts in the ministry. Come on, I'll write a check for you. Oh, Uncle Bosu. <laughs> Did I just hear you call me by my name without a title to it? I'm afraid. I, I can't call you a pastor. I want to call you all these titles that men gave you. It's out of it. Ah, oh, Uncle Bosu, ah. you have backslide. You have turned your back against the true word of God. You have forsaken the right path. You have gone astray. You are like a dog that turned back to his own vomit. Why have you chosen the path of Balaam, the son of Bua, who loved the wages of unrighteousness? I wonder what? Shut up your dirty mouth. I won't! How could you possibly? I won't! Huh? Now you have the houses, the cars, you have people that are worshipping you. But where is the joy of salvation? Where is the joy of salvation? Huh? Oh, could you possibly? You know that you are just pretending to be happy. You are not happy. You are not happy. The joy of salvation has gone. It is gone. Huh? Oh, could you possibly? It is gone. Oh yeah, get out now. I say get out of this place. I won't give you five million naira. I'm pitying you. I don't need your blood stained money. Ha, ha. The money you use craftiness and subtlety to get from your members. Repent! Repent! Get out Repent. of this place. Repent! Repent! 
that is what you are consumed by the burning yeah. that is oh, around your head. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Throw him out of this place. What is this? How could you pass from the place? You are a fool. Big fool, I say. Fool. Nothing. Idiot. Rinda baka karu koko. Robo koko saka. I don't want to hear anything from you. I see within. I see without. I am the beginning and the end. I am the God on this earth. I am everywhere. Yet here. <laughs> I am everything. I can do everything with nothing. I can read your minds as I am talking now. The two of you are graduates, <laughs> but <laughs> unemployed. <laughs> you were experts in your Yahoo business. You have defrauded the whites many times. You now want to start a church business. You are here for me to empower you so that your church can witness a tremendous growth. In fact, you want to be one of the greatest pastors in this world. Yes, yes, yes. Can you pay the price for greatness? Yes, we can. Yes. Free. Mm -hmm. You will each bring a beautiful girl within the ages of 15 and 22 for to be sacrificed on our water here. What? What did I just hear you see? Terrible. What is terrible about that? Most great ministers today have done things worse than that. Apostle Badibo in Lagos brought the heads of seven children to my hotel here. Bishop Stanley in Abuja came with three pregnant women here. Just of recent, Evangelist Kele from Portacot donated his wife and his last born for sacrifice here. The list is endless, my boys. So, are you ready? Or oh, I should call the next person on the queue. Uh, no, 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 sir. Don't do that to us. We are ready. We are ready. Now that you have successfully slaughtered the two girls, we proceed to the next stage. Listen very carefully. By 12 midnight, the body of those two girls must be carried and buried at the site where your church will be. Their spirits will be attracting people to your church. <laughs> That's so great for me. Drop the knife. Put the knife down. Put the knife on this. Put the knife on this. Now move back. Move back. Look at it very well. What are these? In my hands. Rings. 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 A dummy pop. Pick one. Put it on your finger. As it is, that is the ring of power. Whoever you touch with that ring must get instant miracle, instant healing. Cancer will disappear. <laughs> HIV will vanish. Diabetes will crumble. 
and hypertension will fade away. Even Ebola virus will be terminated. <laughs> For water, do this thing. Each, each of the guest blood must be mixed with this oil. Now that we have successfully mixed the oil with the blood of the two girls, take that oil. Whoever that oil touches <laughs> shall fall. People will think he or she has fallen under the anointing and is slain in the spirit. But there is a precaution. Once the oil finishes, or is about to finish, get a new oil and mix, put a drop of this into the new bottle of the oil. Then, there is a continuous flow of power. But there is a warning. The two of you must not betray each other. The day you do that, you shall die. You will not drink each other's blood. How? I will show you. Give me your time. <laughs> Get me your Drink half of it and give the rest to your partner. Come on, drink up to your partner. Another important information you must make sure that you sleep with women. I repeat, women in your church the more women you sleep with the greater the glory of your church and your ministry <laughs> that is beautiful <laughs> that's wonderful the last thing every two years you must make sure that you give at least a pastor gifts of accursed items Accost rings, accost shoes, accost dresses. Once a pastor puts on the accost dress, the accost ring, and the accost shoe, he automatically becomes enlisted as a satanic pastor. We are living in the world that is full of sin. And that's creeping into the church of God. I don't trust standing on the pulpit, fornicators preaching the word of God, philosophies that are not in the Bible. Oh, call Jesus Christ their body. 
using bodyguards to scare people away. I have a different kinds of There's ladies around there. And as interesting as church business. <laughs> <laughs> Mm -hmm. By the way, which of your girlfriend in the church will share your bed with you tonight? Uh. Grace, no, do you care? Eh, no, no, no. I will prefer kids. I see. Mm -hmm. I'm going for two guys tonight. I have asked Lizzie and Debbie. I don't know what I'm going to do. Please help! Please help! Please help! Gently, gently. <laughs> Thank you, Apostle. What happened is unthinkable. We set out to go to a function and he suddenly began to behave strangely. Then he began to shout. <sighs> Bishop, Apostle, you are indeed men of God. The two of you are the Messiah of this generation. Bishop, Apostle, the two of you are next to Jesus when it borders on the miraculous. You mean me? Insanity? I went mad? How come? Oh, Jesus. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. I've heard so much about you. I've heard a lot of things about you. How? Oh, but I never knew that you are very, very powerful people like this. Oh. But listen to me, for doing this, for doing this, for saving me from shame, ridicule, and embarrassment, for doing this for me, I'm going to give you 
20 million naira to support your ministry. Ah. <laughs> 20 million naira? Yes. And there is not all. Myself, my wife, members of my family, and my friends, as from now, insult will be attending your church. Oh. What that means is this my tithes and the tithe of all these people I mentioned will come to your church. Hallelujah. <laughs> Not only that, not only that, the commissioner of uh, the commissioner for finance of this state is a personal friend, and he, he has some head challenges. I will bring him to see you people, and I know that if he see you and you perform miracle in his life, he will bless you greatly financially. He's going to bless hey, you greatly. Thank you, Jesus. No, come, come on, come on. Let me bless you. Bless you. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Bless you. Thank you. This is great. This is too real. This is awesome. The miracle we are performing are too real. Our battle's power is the greatest power on earth. This is too real. <laughs> you see, you see, uh, uh, don't be wrong. We have just started. Something is happening. Oh. Something is happening. Oh. Oh, take it easy, boy. Take it easy. Take it easy. We have just started. We have just started. The whole world has have not seen anything yet. Hey, I pity that chief and the wife. They left us in happy mood, not knowing that greater problem will be for them in six months. Uh, yes, uh, anyway, that was none of our problem because in six months time, when they come with a bigger problem, <laughs> we will still perform miracle. <laughs> because I remember, Apatula told us that anybody that receives miracle from us, in six months time, they will come back with worst problem. <laughs> and it will continue to be a chain reaction. <laughs> there are people call from prime pan to fire. Exactly, my brother. <laughs> so, <laughs> my friend, my brother, doctor, prophet, bishop, Olusegun, Drotola, alias Fumata. <laughs> the general of power, past power, Pentecostal assembly. I wanna say. <laughs> okay, okay. My friend, my able lieutenant, my brother, Reverend Doctor Apostle Lamidi Jima. Alias a dummy ball, the assistant general overseer of Power Past Power Pentecostal Church. Please have a handshake. <laughs> then go take. Yes, they, they, they must take. <laughs> Come on, let's continue to return. Where's our chicken? God, arise on my behalf. <laughs> the ministry you gave to me is going down instead of rising up. My church congregation has dropped from 42 to 31. People are leaving because I preach holiness. Restitution. Fire. One man, one wife, one woman, one husband. Ah! So many. Because I preach Christian dressing should be moderate and evangelism. Pastor Soji, who started ministry three years ago, now as a congregation of 1,200 members. Evangelist Duro who started two years ago as 
congregation of 800 members. <laughs> Pastor Dago, who started just last year, has 120 members. Ah, God! This is my 10th year in ministry. Still, my membership has dropped from 42 to 31. The, the pastor I mentioned ride in cars. They live in good houses. I have nothing, nothing, even not a bicycle. God, God, why? Why have you forsaken me? Oh. <laughs> My son, Christy Lawa, I have not forsaken you. Great things will happen in righteousness very soon in your church. I am purifying and cleaning your members right now. I am shaking your members. Those who are strong and righteous will stand. I want to use the few that will remain to cause a serious revival of righteousness in this end time. My son, you are too busy, too concerned, and too worrisome about the members of your church at the expense of the quality of the members of your church. The quality of the members of your church is far, far more important to me than the quantity of the members of your church. Wait a little more, just a little more, and people who are ready to go to heaven will troop down to your church. A little more patience, my son. Just a little more patience. A little more patience. A little more patience. Oh, I will wait. I promise that I will wait for your time, God. God, help me. Help me, God. Your message this evening was so powerful. I enjoyed this minister's conference. Most especially the aspects on church growth that the both of you handled. Oh, no, no, no. So powerful. We thank God for everything. No man can do anything of himself except it is given to him from above. These are men of God indeed. They gave the glory back to God. They did not share God's glory with him. Sir, you appear not to know us again. Ah, uh, yes. Your faces are familiar. But I can't really figure out where I knew you people. We are the product of your hard labor in ministry. Yes. About four years ago, you came to preach to us in our house. We molested you. We ridiculed you and even put hot pepper on your clothes. We were grossly ignorant there. But the moment you left, Holy Ghost convicted us of our sins. We fell on our knees and faces in thorough repentance. The Lord called us into ministry afterward. Thank you, sir. Thank you, our daddy. Thank you, sir. They are my spiritual children. Thank God for using me to raise up end time apostles like this. Huh? They are so humble. These ones have encountered God. To the glory of God, sir. We are pastors of Power Past Power Pentecostal Assembly, PPPA. He is Pastor Sebun Drotola. I am Pastor Lamidi Jima. A Muslim converts. Very humble. Simply pastors. No ambiguous titles. Huh? <laughs> power past power Pentecostal assembly. Uh, it's a very big and famous church. Uh, how come you become so great within a very short period of time? It is nothing but the handiwork of God. Calling, gift, auction in minister's life differs. God called us and revealed the secret of church growth to us. 
what we discussed today is just a tip of the iceberg of what God has revealed to us. Sir, we are ready to reveal everything in totality. I mean, everything about the secret of church growth to you. God made us work we here today through you. It's a case of one good turn deserving another. Um, sir, we will reciprocate your wonderful and blessed gesture. Please get in touch with us at number 7 Faji Street in this Ibalode, in this Ibalode town. And your membership that is presently 31 will rise to 31,000 within a year. Thank you. Hey! <coughs> Upward drive from 31 to 31,000. <laughs> but how did you know that we are just a 31 in number? It is God. Everything with us is by God. It is God and nothing but God. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Upward rise from 31 to 31,000. Eh? That will be great. <laughs> that will be miraculous. No, it is going to be wonderful. Pastor. Oh, Pastor Sayo. I'm glad to see you once more. God bless you. Amen, sir. It is well with you. Amen, sir. How is family? Oh, we are fine. How is the work of God? That the Lord is good to us, sir. All right. You uh, are welcome. Thank you, sir. Sir, I came to see you in respect to a vision I had concerning you. In that vision, the Lord sent an old man to me who warned me to be steadfast in faith. He want me not to compromise with rascals who go by the name pastors. He also told me that there are several steps that every minister must pass through. Oh, sorry, please. Please sit down. Sir, I'm okay here, sir. I'm okay. <laughs> oh, that's great. Um. This same old man has been appearing to me right from the village. See, as a matter of fact, he told me the same thing. He said, a genuine and original minister of God must pass through those steps. That's great. And that's the point. But just yesterday night, God spoke to me to come and warn you to be very careful of the snare of the fowler. God sorry should come and warn me. Yes. To be careful of the snare of the fowler. Yes, sir. How do you mean? God said you are getting discouraged. That your heart is fainting because of your small membership and your financial situation. You are worried because since 10 years in ministry, you are few and you don't have a car of your own. Neither have you built a house you can call your own. God asks me to tell you that in a very short while, He will change your situation for better. He will visit you and your ministry. Be patient with Him. Thanks a million. God has visited me. He has led me to see the Apostles of Church Growth. In fact, I will see them tomorrow. They will teach me the secret of church growth. Sir. Don't be deceived by rascals on the pulpit. There are no such things as secrets of church growth beyond God's grace, hard work, holy living, and divine revelation. I do not mean to say that pastors cannot share ideas. They can, but such ideas should not replace God's principle. I implore you to seek the mind of God. Wait for God's time. Wait for God's time. Ha! How dare you talk to me like that? Ha! I'm not a new comfort. I'm a pastor with 10 years pastoral experience. 
How many years experience do you have in ministry? I know when God speaks, He wants me to see those apostles of church growth. And I will see them tomorrow. He wants me to see them for help. And that's fine now. Huh? Oh, sir, don't get yourself worked up unnecessarily. I never meant to be rude to you. I know you love God. I only came to tell you what the Lord said concerning you. Sir, if you are sure that it is God who is leading you to these apostles of faith, or what do you call them, you may please go ahead. And who am I to question your ability to hear from God? Shall we pray, sir? Father, thank you. This is 4 p.m. And uh, he, he promised to be here by 2 p.m. He called his cell phone. He's not responding. <sighs> we have lost this pastor. We have lost this pastor. He won't come again. He's yes. coming. Hello. You are welcome. Bless you. Yeah, I'm happy to be here. Sorry, I came later than the time we agreed. I'm very, very sorry. Sir, you don't have to bother yourself about that, sir. The joy of seeing you has overshadowed every other thing, sir. You are welcome. What do we offer you? Oh, nothing for now. Maybe later. Okay, please, can we please go straight to business? Say our prayer, sir. Please, excuse me. You're welcome, sir. God bless you, sir. Please do enjoy yourself. Thank you very much. You see, sir, God has given each of his ministers specific ministry. When God called us, we sought his face in seven days marathon prayer and fasting without eating food or water. Seven good days of fasting and prayer without uh, food or uh, water. At the expiration of the seven day marathon prayer and fasting program, God revealed some secret to us. <laughs> Yes. One of the secrets he gave to us is this ring. Ring of sign and wonders. Ring of signs and wonders? Yes, sir. We took ten of these rings to the mountain. And we rain torrents of prayers upon them. The Holy Spirit descended on them. There on the mountain, the Holy Spirit spoke clearly to us that any of his children who wears this ring and prays for any sick person, that person will definitely receive instantaneous healing. <laughs> You see, these are going to be hard. <laughs> Sir, this is what we should call the power of God in the bottle. Every two years, you must make sure that you give at least a pastor gifts of accursed items. The power of God in the bottle? Sir. That is the name that the power of God in a body. Anybody, I mean anybody that this how it touches must receive divine touch of their law. Even if it drops on dead body, the dead body will resonate instantaneous. Oh, <laughs> Our Father in the law, the last secret of church growth that God revealed to us is this. Ah. 
<laughs> this miracle soap. Miracle soap? <laughs> <laughs> Sir, bathing with this soap for at least seven days will do two great things in your life. And what are those things? <laughs> the power of God in this soap will pull and attract people to your church in thousands. <laughs> you don't need to suffer yourself again. You will not need to tarry so much in fasting, in prayers, in evangelism and things like that. See, your church will grow within a short period of time. <laughs> and secondly, if you bath with this soap, your church will no longer budget in thousands. They will budget in millions and even billions. <laughs> Our fire level. What are you still waiting for? Christy, Lord, my son, don't connect them. They are a cause things. A cause things. They are a cause materials. Don't connect them. Our level. What are you still waiting for? Collect these materials from God. Christy, Lord, my dear son, don't touch their cause things. They are a cause. Don't touch. Don't touch! Don't touch! Our daddy in the Lord, why are you hesitating? Collect them. No! They are things prepared by agent of judgment to destroy your life and ministry. No! They are things prepared by the agent of darkness to destroy your life and ministry. Sir, if at the count of five, you do not collect this. We will assume that you don't need them any longer. One. Two. Two. Christy Lowell, get out of this place fast. Christy Lowell, get out of this place fast. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Three. Four. Get out. Get out. Get out. Our four and the Lord. Five. The devil almost succeeded in persuading me to turn down this God-given offer. <laughs> but, <laughs> oh God, thank you very much. <laughs> thank you very, very much. See you on top. Congratulations. See you on top. Congratulations, sir. Thank you very much. <laughs> you are most welcome. Thank you very much. You are most welcome. Yeah, finally, before you go, we'll meet there. Yes. <laughs> we will we'll meet on top. We will we'll meet on top. <laughs> Thank you very much. Ah, say that say more to you. All power belong to Jesus. Say that say more to you. All power belong to Jesus. Say that say more to you. All power belong to Jesus. What a disaster! What a tragedy! <laughs> ah. Then I will now become an international speaker, an international preacher. Ah. God! So, my level will change. No, 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 no. Who will come up higher? Ah. Christy Lawo, my beloved son, you have accepted their costings. Please don't use their costings. Don't use their costings. Destroy their costings before their costings destroys you. Destroy their costings before their costings destroys you. Destroy their costings before their costings destroy you. Yes, come. Please come. Pastor, 
Please sit down, sit down, please. Sit down. Please, I'm okay. Thank you, sir. God used you to save my life and ministry from perdition. The words you spoke to me were like dagger in my soul. You said I backslid. Yes, I truly backslid. I've mellowed down on holiness and righteousness. I followed the world. <laughs> you said I've turned my back against the truth. Ah, Uncle Tuboso, why have you chosen the path of Balaam, the son of Bua, who loved the wages of unrighteousness? Ah! I wonder what? Shut up your dirty mouth. I won't! Uncle Tuboso, I won't! You are very correct, sir. I no longer preach the truth. I preach only what people want to hear so that they can keep on coming to my church. I no longer preach salvation, sanctification. Sisters in my choir do not only put on trousers, miniskirts, and heavy makeup. I encourage them to put on Every jewels paint their lips and all manner of what they hear do. The brothers in my choir wear jewels and dance disco tunes right on the puppets. <laughs> my houses are not different. From harlots in Buddha. The males among them dress like Tauts and Gara boys. You said I've gone astray. <laughs> you said I was like a dog who has turned back to its own vomit. You are correct, sir. I was a rascal on the pulpit. I was a rascal on the pulpit. Do you know what the Lord told me, sir? And what did God tell you? The Lord said, many are dead, many are dying, and more will die before the end of this year. If they refuse to be genuinely converted and stop being rascal on the pulpit, and forsake their causes, please do not touch their causes. Please, do not touch their costings. Don't touch their costings again. Accostings, accostings, accostings. Many children of the kingdom are now touching their costings. Preachers on the pulpit, song ministers, and even drama ministers no longer value holiness and integrity. They pollute the altar on daily basis. Many who started well are now like Ephraim in Osea chapter 7 who are unturned cakes. They are unturned cakes. The devil has decided to kill as many of them as possible this year if they fail to repent and turn from their evil ways. Man of God, this may be your last warning. Man of God, this may be your last warning. Man of God, this may be your last warning. We are living in the world that is full of sin and are creeping into the church of God. Adulterers standing on the pulpit, fornicators. Preaching the word of God Philosophies that are not in the Bible
In Jesus' name, the guy mellowed down. He calmed down. He became gentle. <laughs> and then he had no choice than to release the 30 miracles to us. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Father, you are good. Everybody, close your heart. And you must not open your eyes until I ask you to do so. If you do that, you go blind instantly. There is a woman here. You have been cheating on your husband since. Two out of your children belong to other men. It is your first child that belongs to your husband. Unfortunately, just yesterday, doctor confirmed that you have leukemia, which is blood cancer. And you will die in three weeks' time. Listen. God can forgive you. And God can heal you. If you can rush out and donate 20 million naira to God. Okay, write the 20 million. Write it. Don't waste time. Just write it for God. You are giving your money to God. Okay, beautiful. Sign, 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 sign. Oh, thanks, thanks. Very much. You see, my hand is anointed. I have the power to forgive sins. I have the power to heal the sick. Because my hands are anointed. This leukemia. Get out in Jesus' name. Ah! Hallelujah. All eyes opened. Who is uh, Chief Stanley Dennis? Chief Stanley Dennis. Oh yeah, come out, come out. Come out. Come out. You are a rich man, sir. I'm not a rich man. You are a rich man. My God cannot tell lie. Man of God. I said I'm not a rich man. <laughs> I believe your God cannot tell lies. But sir, I'm not a rich man. I am super rich. You are super rich? Yeah. God has favored me and blessed me so much. I have been taken from the class of the rich to the class of the super rich. You are super rich. Yes, man of God. But you don't have joy. On the 21st February last year, you almost poisoned yourself. Yes, man of God. How did you get to know that, sir? The only problem in your life is your wife. Yes, man of God. Who told you, sir? You wanted to divorce your wife because you are not getting peace from that marriage, right? But God is against divorce, sir. Especially when I did not catch her with another man. 
We have the power to forgive sins. We have the power to break yokes. We have the power to break covenant and vows. That marriage, the covenant of that marriage is a sin. We will break it. You see, the covenant of marriage and the vow of marriage between you and your wife was placed on the wrong foundation. It will be uprooted. What is the name of your wife? Janet. Usayom. Dennis, right? Right, sir. Now, say after me. I break the marriage covenant between I, Stanley Dennis, and Usayom Dennis in Jesus' name. The marriage covenant between me, I, Stanley Dennis, and Janet Busayo Dennis is broken now in Jesus' name. I release myself from the covenant of marriage and the vow of marriage in Jesus' name. I release myself from the covenant and vow of marriage in Jesus' name. I am free to marry another woman in Jesus' name. I am free to marry another woman in Jesus' name. Now, the truth is this. It's not all the pastors or the prophets. They have the power to break the marriage covenant of vow. But men of God, like us, we have power to break that covenant. Yes, truly, you may not have right to remarry, eh? but immediately we break that covenant, you are free and you have power to remarry. Let me tell you now, you can keep on remarrying and divorcing, 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 remarrying and divorcing. You can continue, 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 just continue like that. You can marry as many women as you want. Yeah. Ha! Whoa! This Jesus is good. Apostle, Bishop, <laughs> both of you are really vice president of God. Ah, today I'm going to spoil you with dollars. Raw dollars. You. With dollars today. Dollars. Dollars. Ah, thank you. Raw dollars. I'm going to spoil you with dollars.
How was your preaching to sir? Oh, well, fantastic. <laughs> Overwhelming. Oh, awesome. Oh, beautiful. Exhilarating. You see, the last uh, crusade uh, in Edbong, three dead bodies came back to life. 32 HIV positive patients received their healing instantaneously. Yes. Uh, the number of cancer, diabetes, and hypertensive patients that received their healing under my anointing are countless. Hey, sir, we understand that your congregation is now about 25,000. That is talking about the headquarter church. And you have about 20 branches spread across the country. And all the rapid growth within the scope of two years, sir. Oh, well, that's an old statistics. That should be six months ago statistics. The membership of the headquarter church is now at least 37,000. Actually, our target, our target is to have the largest and biggest single congregation church in Africa. Sure. Presently, our branches are 42, spread across Nigeria and overseas. Sir, we notice that you are no longer emphasizing on salvation, air fire, one man and one wife, sanctification, restitution, and so on. Women now wear trousers and mini skirts in your choir. Sir, and you don't see anything bad in Oh, that's okay, that's okay, that's okay, that's okay. You see, the truth of the matter is this. We are no longer under bondage. We are at liberty in Christ. You see, the messages of Christ should attract people to Christ and not to repair them away from Christ. We emphasize on salvation, sanctification, holiness, restitution, one man, one wife. Uh, Christian dressing should be moderate in the time past. Oh, gone are those days. Because we were backward, unexposed, unrealistic then. But now we know better. We have decided to give what belongs to Caesar to Caesar and what belongs to God to God. Sir, what is the secret of your sisters? Please, enough. The pastor wants to rest for tonight's power contact. Please, please. Sweetie, come on, let's just go inside the room and uh, have some fun. <laughs> Man of God, it is high time we stop having sex together. Why? I feel used each time it happens, especially when I realize that I'm not the only lady. You are sleeping with regularly in the cathedral. Bridget, Clara, Rhoda, Catherine, Bimpe, Shola, Tina, Francisca, and even uh, Rosemary, they share your bed and your love with me. As a matter of fact, the list of the girls you sleep with regularly in the cathedral is endless. Um, well, would you uh, don't bother going inside again with me? But, but, but I need a favor from you. Would you be able to do that? Mention it. If it is for cash, I will do it. I will go for it. <laughs> That's my girl. That's my girl. several strands of hair 
from you for a million naira. Seven strands of years for a million naira. Oh, is the easiest thing I can do. <laughs> Hold it. The seven strands of hair that I need from you are from your genitals. What? What did you just say? Seven strands of hair from my genitals? Yes. One million naira. That is rubbish. That is spiritualistic. It is fetish. Even if you give me a billion naira for it, I cannot give you. Excuse me. Hold it, hold it. Pedro, Pedro, you see, um, I just come. That was a test for you, and uh, you have actually passed that test. Um, you see, Pedro, honestly, I love you. Love you. <laughs> you see? If you move any step further, hold it, hold it. Yeah. On your knees, lady. You better don't move further, because I had all your conversations. Yeah. If you make any attempt to move, I am going to blow your score. Oh, what am I even saying? This is your head. <laughs> you have to jump into the lion's den. The lion must be for you. You step on the cobra tail. The cobra must bite you. Continue shooting. I'm not shooting again. I'm glad to 
present this man to you. They have all labored vigorously in their various ministries. And they all claimed that their works, I mean their vessels, will stand the test of this world. Number 3648 has labored for 24 years on his vessel. Number 3648. Will your vessel, I mean your work, stand the test of this boiling water? It will stand this test of boiling water. <laughs> Don't you see how beautiful it is? <laughs> it is not only beautiful, it is big, it is strong. <laughs> Moreover, I spent whole 24 years to build this vessel. Ah, it must pass the test. Sir, please test it. Thank you. Let me have it. compared to those of your counterparts. You have spent just two years, I mean two years, to build this vessel. Why not go back and spend more years to work more on this your vessel so that it will stand the test of this boiling water? Sir, I don't need to do that. I spent 18 years to build a vessel that was useless, which will never stand the taste of the boiling water. Because I was building the flesh and not in the spirit. I was using the wrong material to build. But my friend here, number 3654, gave me a beautiful cancer on how to build. I destroyed the former structure. I crumbled all the useless materials and started building afresh. I got original materials for this foundation. Number 3650 told me that beauty is vain. I didn't pursue beauty while building the structure. I pursued strong and lasting materials. He has the best me. And I'm happy that both of us are here to stand the test, which I know by the grace of God we stand the test of boiling water. Hmm. Sir, please test it. God bless you. Give me my product.
my friend. Thank you. Ah, thank you. I made it at last. Praise God. Ah, my God. I praise your name. Number 3650. It's your turn. You stand the test. You see, I labored for 11 years on this vessel. I suffered in the village. I suffered in the town before I got wise. I now know the secret of church growth. I know it can never break. I know it can never break. That is okay. In the ministry, ah, Bishop is all I do. I is my friend. I know him. He paid us two million naira to kill you. Ah, 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 ah. No, 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 no. Maybe you, you, are, you are mistaken here. Bishop is so ladioti can never send you that kind of message. He is my closest friend in the ministry. No, 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 no. He, <coughs> you are indeed a fool. He said you told him your plans. To build the biggest cathedral in Africa yesterday night. Your rapid church growth is a big threat to his ministry. He's afraid because you may soon catch up with him and overtake him. So you must die. Ah, please, please. You see, that's that money that he gave you. I will double it. No, I will give you four million. No, what am I saying? Eight million. No, 16, 16 million. No, I will give you 32 million. Please. You must die! Please!
happy to see you again after a very long time. But, Baba, what am I doing here? This is a strange place. Christy Lower, you are dead. That can't be. I, I, I still have a lot to do for God. I still have a lot of ground to cover for Him. My greatest plan is to build the biggest cathedral for God in Africa. I have not done that. How come you not said I'm dead? Too late. That is too late now. All the plans you have for yourself, all the plans you have for your ministry, all the plans you have for your family, they are all aborted plans. All your plans have died with you. Yeah! Ah! Yeah, yeah! Ah, Baba, please! Please don't let it be! Ah! Yeah! Ah! Please, Baba! Baba! Please, don't let it be! Ah! Ah! ah. Before I pass the judgment of the Trinity on you, let me show you a few things in hell ah. and in heaven. Lower. This is hellfire, the final destination for all who rejected Christ while on earth. Let me show you a few things in hell before we proceed. Do you know this man? Pastor Ekumakpai. The holiness pastor. Ha. Ha. He, he preaches soundly. And people troop out for salvation each time he preaches. Ha. Miracles, signs, and wonders follow his ministrations. What is Pastor Ikumakpai doing in hell? Ikumakpai labored in the vineyard for 35 years. He preached salvation. He preached holiness, he preached sanctification and restitution and the second coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. He preached on evangelism and so on. As a matter of fact, Ikumakpai, unlike many other preachers in the world today who preached for the sake of their belly and for fame, Ikumakpai preached the sound doctrine of the cross. <laughs> Uh, but, uh, Baba, what then is he doing in her? Uh, what then is he doing in her? Ikumapa, he preached for 35 years while alive. But just a few weeks before he had a ghastly motor accident and died. Listen, the battle has just been drawn. I will deal with you. Did you judge the case to favor you? Why won't you do that, knowing that you are from the same state? The Jiho is tribalistic. The Jiho is self-centered. I won't blame you so much because as old as he is, as prayerful as he pretends to be, he has not gotten any church. Maybe God is punishing him because of his unfaithfulness in the ministry. All this was your mouth against me. What did I do to deserve this insult from your mouth, young lady? apologized to Gio Ikumakpai several times. But Gio Ikumakpai pretended to accept Ronke's apologies. But in actual sense, he did not forgive her. The sin of unforgiveness led Gio Ikumakpai into hellfire after laboring for 35 years in ministry. Unforgiveness? Ah! Gio Ikumakpai, you miss evil because of the spirit of unforgiveness. Ah! No sin is too much or too little to lead one to hell. Do you know these two people? Baba, 
Apost to Edemipo. Ah, Bishop Fumata. Ah, what are they doing in here? What are they doing in here? Ah, they have one of the largest church around. People love them. They taught me the secret of church growth. Ah, the Iberia was a talk of the town. It was witnessed by who and who in the society. Ah, great men of God, so what praises and testimonies about their good Christian works. Ah. People showered praises on them while on earth. But they are in the showers of hellfire here. They were not Christians, but criminals. They were not pastors, but pastors. They were only out to reap where they did not sow. They were out to reap from the sweat of the people of God using various gimmicks. They were rascals on the pulpit. Rascals on the pulpit? Yes, that is what they were. Before I tell you the verdict of the Holy Trinity about you, let me show you a glimpse of heaven. the final destination for all who got born again while on earth and maintain their righteousness in Christ. Who is this? Christ. And no, my eyes must be deceiving me. Paulina in heaven? Ah, how come? How possible? Ah, in my initial years in the ministry, Paulina was my neighbor. Ah, I know her very well. Men of different shapes and sizes visit her for immoral reasons. Ah, she lived like a harlot. Pastor. Rule it out. I can never be born again. Born again, ke. Born again Christians are fools. They are mad. Ha. You know, I cannot be born again. Oh. <laughs> I love sex. I love sex too much. Ah. The day she went for a 13th abortion was the day she died. She died on the abortion bed. After the abortion had been completed, just two minutes, Two minutes before she gave up the ghost, she remembered all your preachings and your sermons. And she wept so and gave her life to Christ. You mean she got born again through my preaching? Just two minutes before her death? Yes, there are a lot of surprises in heaven. There is just one person I have to show you before telling you the verdict of the Trinity on you. Who is this? Ah! 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 My father! My father in Nemo! Ah! 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 Come in Nemo! Ah! Come my father in Nemo! Ah! The old one wall of Finland. In heaven? Ah! He persecuted me. He tortured me. In fact, he was the one that delivered me to those that will kill me. All because I refused to renounce my faith. How come? Don't just tell me. How, how come? Just two months ago, two months ago, the man God used you to restore through your preaching, went on a preaching assignment in your village and your father met with a superior power than his own and he gave his life unto Jesus. Akamu, renounce Jesus and leave. Kabiesi, it is too late to renounce Jesus. 
I found peace with the Savior of my soul. Don't forget, you killed my son, Awulowo, because he stood for Christ. He stood for Christ. And I know, as I'm dying now, if I die eventually, I know and I believe I will see my beloved son, Nawulowo, in heaven. I will see him. I will see him. Shut up your mouth! Guard! Cut off his head! I surrender unto thee, as a savior. What are you looking? I said you should cut off his head! I surrender. <laughs> In a nutshell, your father gave his life to Jesus through your convert. Your father burned all his charms and he became resolutely committed to the cause of the gospel. God used him mightily. The whole of Ophi and the 13 neighboring villages around of him caught fire for Jesus. The revival that God intends for you to do in of him, your father completed it. But your father was killed in the world, but he is enjoying here in heaven. Your father said he was sure he will meet you in heaven. But it is unfortunate Baba, Baba, what is unfortunate? Baba, what is unfortunate? It is unfortunate that your name was not found in the book of life. It is unfortunate that you have to live the rest of your life in hell forever that burns with sulfur and brimstone. Ah! 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 Baba! Me! Ah! Hell fire! Ah! 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 How come? How come? Ah! How come? Me? How possible? Air fire? Ah, 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 I, I suffer for God in the village. I suffer for God in the city. Ah, I transfer all the nook and cranny of Nigeria and overseas. Ah. How was your preaching to sir? Oh, well, uh, fantastic. Preaching the gospel. Ah, ah, God, God, God. Remember my preachings. Ah, I remember my suffering. Remember my commitment. Ah, Lord. I remember, remember, remember my figure. Remember my prayer. Remember the soul I won for Christ. Remember my 11 years in ministry. <laughs> remember my 11 years in ministry, Lord. Remember my fight vigil. Remember my prayer. Christy Lower, you started well, but you did not end well. You suffered and labored in ministry. You were ridiculed for Christ's sake. You were like Ephraim in the book of Hosea, chapter 7, verse 7 to 8. You mixed yourself with the people of the world. You compromised God's standard on holiness, righteousness. You were impatient with God. Despite all my warnings to you, you, you were not satisfied with what we had for you, Christian Lower. Now, you have all the houses. You have all the cars. You have the fat accounts in Nigeria and overseas. Of what use are all those things to you here now, Christian Lower? You have to go to hell where you will live forever. You're welcome. I 
pray that your first will not be the last. I pray that you will not miss heaven. I pray that your story will not be like the story of this man. It's like the story of Ephraim in the Bible, in the book of Isaiah chapter 7 and chapter 8. Read it up. That is where God gave us this message that we have just watched. You will not be a rascal in the pulpit. And the Lord will help you to make it to heaven. Because everything in this world will end in this world. It is only your salvation that matters. The Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Please keep on sharing this movie. Let it go around. Share it to so many people. Then subscribe. We want you to be our, our, our agent of help. Let these films go out. And we still have several other films. The movie channel again is Cavalry Movies TV. Please, we want you to, to, to if you are really concerned about making heaven, we, this channel is more concerned about people making it to heaven. This is the channel to watch. Please keep on, just watch several of our movies. They are there. Just scroll down, you see several that you can watch that will do your souls good and will do your life good. You are welcome. God bless you. I will never, never, never go back to the world. I will never, never, never go back to sea. I will never, never, never go back to the world. Jesus is at my back. I will never, never, never go back to the world. I will never, never, never go back to sea. We never, never, never go back to the Lord. Jesus is at my side. I will never, never, never go back to the Lord. I will never, never, never go back to sin. I will never, never, never go back to the Lord. Jesus is at my Keep on trusting the Lord. I will keep on.